this is Alberto. Today I would like to talk about machine learning and trading. Well, as you have noticed now, whenever you buy a phone, a camera, whatever, they say artificial intelligence, machine learning, because it sounds cool. So it is kind of a buzzword. Especially in investment, it is really a buzzword. So I know a lot of hedge funds that they claim that they use artificial intelligence and I would say 50% they don't use it at all or they might just use it to do some portfolio optimization to do let's say a little bit of what they need in order to invest their money so why they do it well it is marketing especially when you have a retail client so let's say an hedge fund or an asset management that goes to their client and their client don't know anything about machine learning when the seller tells the clients um, we use machine learning so we are using robots machines that are smarter than human and then people say oh, okay okay that is my money please invest my money so it's, it is just a matter of mostly a matter of marketing but then does it work or not machine learning so i've just told you that machine learning is mostly used in marketing in finance then in finance but it's also used in some hedge funds where there are very very clever people or uh, in uh, some asset management firm yes it is used uh, but is it profitable? Yeah, it could be. Uh, you need to have a lot of data in order to make money using machine learning. What I want to do it is, let's say you want to predict S&P 500 price. If you just have S&P 500 price as input data in order to predict S&P 500 price, probably with any machine learning tool you are not going to predict much there could be something something like LSTM network or RNN network that could do their job uh, but you have other instruments that are more well known even a normal trader with technical analysis knowledge could do better than machine learning instrument when you apply this instrument to the price itself. This could be very surprising, but this is the way it is. I am sorry to disappoint you. Where machine learning could be very useful though, it is if you try to predict volatility. That could be quite powerful more than let's say someone who uses technical analysis way powerful i use uh, machine learning or time series analysis model that myself and my team have developed quite soon we will publish something that is quite cool on a scientific journal about volatility prediction using machine learning so they are very good but to do let's say volatility prediction not to predict price using price itself but where machine learning could be super powerful more powerful than any human you know is when you want to predict price of something but you have a lot a lot of data that come from somewhere which is not the price itself so you want to predict S&P 500 price, but you have as variable many, many, many different macroeconomic data or how many parts are parked in front of supermarket in the USA, transaction of credit card. Well, now I'm saying something a little bit of random, but let's say when you have hundreds of hundreds of what they are called explanatory variables that are just variable that you use in order to explain what is going on so when you have a lot a lot of data machine learning can handle this data and tell you something that no one else would will say the problem is when you have things that are 
correlated usually with machine learning, it is pretty impossible to have good results. Let's say that you have S&P 500, uh, some stocks and uh, gold, uh, euro dollar all together. Machine learning probably won't understand much because this stuff is already correlated or they have an inverse correlation. This is to say that if you have, let's say, fixed income get goes up when S&P 500 goes down, with machine learning, whatever technique you're using, you won't do anything uh, useful. I am simplifying a lot, so forgive me if you are already a machine learning expert and now you're thinking that I am oversimplified, but this video is for someone that doesn't know anything. So, I am very, really, really simplifying and again, I am sorry if this is too much simplifying. So, where machine learning could be extremely powerful, for example, it could be a strategy that I read on a scientific journal and I backtested myself and it works. Well, I'm not sure if it works with real money, but for what I could see from data, yes it does. It is uh, a guy just used uh, some uh, algo to scan the internet, scan forums to see what retail traders think about stocks and apparently they are quite good in understanding whether when a stock is likely to go down. They are not very good the retail traders in understanding when a stock is going up but if you have a lot of data which are what people in forum thinks about stocks that should be shorted with some machine learning algo, you can build an extremely, extremely nice trading strategy which has a risk adjusted return better than S&P 500 and returns better than S&P 500. So there are many strategies like this one, but they are always strategy where you are buying or selling something, which could be gold, oil, Apple, Amazon, but the information the algo is using in order to make prediction don't come from what you are trying to predict, but they come from outside. For example, there are People that trade natural gas and then instead of using machine learning to predict the price of natural gas itself, they try to predict how much gas Americans is going to use during the winter and they are going to use machine learning to forecast the weather. And then they mix these two things, which is weather and how much gas Americans are going to consumed during the winter. That, of course, is also correlated to the weather. So forecasting these things, they hope to be better than the normal weather forecast that you see on TV. And you see this information, they read natural gas. This is another example. Uh, there are many, but most of the time, machine learning works when you have a lot of data that a human being could not handle. And then you use machines, artificial intelligence to use a lot of data that you could not handle otherwise. But when it comes to trade a single thing and you only have the time series itself, there are many other instruments coming from time series analysis, for example, which is kind of a mathematical model that is used in econometrics or uh, algorithmic trading based on patterns, which is still technical analysis, or even a normal trader with its own experience. So there are a lot of things that are already good enough to make money if you are good enough to, to use them. For example, in time series analysis, there are a lot of models that are quite good in predicting volatility and then you can combine with something else to tell whether the price will go up or down or well 
if you're watching this video you know probably what technical analysis is and you know some traders where that make money so machine learning could be super super powerful in case of a lot of data then will machine learning take over the world of trading well machine learning yes in case of course we have a lot of data but algorithmic trading uh, yes most of transaction in uh, between institution are transaction between algos market making is completely algo and 70 or 80 percent of american hedge funds are fully algo but algo doesn't mean necessarily machine learning algo it is any strategy that is automated so machine learning belong to algorithmic trading but algorithmic trading it is a more vast world which includes for example trading system based on technical analysis so algorithmic trading is a quite big world machine learning is a part of it and unless you have an, a crazy amount of data or unless your goal is to predict volatility so far you might not need it and sorry to disappoint you bye bye